Michael Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. So I've had loads of questions asking me about practicing and practice routines. So here we go. Um, if you're a more advanced player, the bare minimum you should be doing a day is one hour, okay? I try and give myself an hour every day, even though I used to do probably three or four hours a day, but now just because life is so busy and life gets in the way, um, I designate myself an hour a day. And just like you should do with exercise and stuff like that, okay? So, um, out of that hour, the first 30 minutes will be my set piece. So, you know, I've always got set pieces I'm working on, whether they're, you know, John Mayer pieces that are very technical, flamenco pieces that I'm trying to master, classical pieces. It doesn't matter. It's something that's above your threshold of playing, uh, to help you improve so you get to that next level, okay? So there's your first 30 minutes, all right? You don't have to do that for the whole 30 minutes. In fact, Monday I might do my set piece for 30 minutes, then I might have 30 minutes of messing around. Tuesday I might have an hour of my set piece, Wednesday I might have, you know, the set piece for five minutes, and then I'll have uh, five minutes uh, new scales, uh, or another five minutes of practicing some uh, other pieces I'm working on for gigs or something like that. Or arpeggios, they're always good. Speed picking, you know. So I try and break down my practicing into se separate sections rather than going, right, I'm going to learn 10 arpeggios in different positions on the fretboard. Um, I kind of break it down into sections. So I'll just work on, you know, an A minor. Uh, arpeggio, you know, up on the 12th fret, up on the 12th fret, uh, just for five minutes or 10 minutes, then I'll move on to my set piece. So the whole point is, out of my hour, I split it in half, set piece and scales, and then fun, just playing, okay? I always say to my students, look, forget practicing, just play, all right? But what I really mean is go away and play the stuff you enjoy as well. The biggest mistake most of my students make is, is all practice, all practice, all practice, no fun. So you have to have fun as well. And you know, whether you're, you're using arpeggios in the stuff that you're having fun with, great, even better, all right? The best thing to do, it doesn't work for everyone. Personally, it's never worked for me. Um, I don't write down my practicing. I keep it all up here, but I'm kind of old school like that. I train a lot of my students to write stuff down. They have um, like a practice notebook. And in that practice notebook, they'll have uh, five different sections of what they're going to do. But make keep the list small, right? So like five points. So point one might be arpeggios. Point two might be... Um, bar chords, okay, practicing those bar chords in different positions, okay. Three might be your pentatonic positions, you know, uh, your five positions of the pentatonic. Uh, point four might be um, your major modes, okay, your seven major modes. Then eight might be your, uh, sorry, five might be your set piece. So if you're working on some finger picking, it might be that, okay? So there's your first half an hour. Once you've completed that half an hour, go away and have some fun. Play the guitar. Try and write a tune. If you're, if you're wanting to sing and play, practice some songs that you sing and play. And by the way, if you are trying to learn to sing and play, print out the chord sheets or print out the lyric sheets offline. They're not always correct, by the way, guys, so read them as you listen to the track. And just score the chords above whatever word you strum down on. Okay, so G. Knock, knock. Knocking D on heaven's C on door. Okay, and always practice it. They won't always be as simple as that, but always practice it one line at a time. If you're a complete beginner, I've said in past lessons, 15 minutes a day is good enough practicing. If I go away and I've got a brand new student and they say, how long shall I practice for? 15 minutes a day, at least, at least five minutes a day. If you want to get good, 
fast, the longer the better, okay? Now, an hour a day, if you're a complete beginner, fantastic, but you know, try and stick to 15, 20 minutes, work on your set piece, then have fun, play around, see if you can write one of your own riffs, some of your own riffs, see if you can construct a few chords together and make your own song, okay? But have fun with it, that's the most important thing. And, you know, if you're intermediate, a little bit of both. An hour one day, two hours the next day. Five minutes one day, three hours the next day. Mix it up, but write it down how your week's going to be. Always try and take a couple of days off in the week. There'll be days where I don't pick up the guitar at all, and sometimes two or three days. And you know what? The really good thing about that is when you do pick up the guitar, suddenly you're completely fresh, your mind is clear, you haven't played the guitar for a while, and you'll go in and you'll come up with some new, fresh ideas, and actually the fingers have time to recover, and you might actually come up with the technique that you've been working on for a long time, it might just suddenly happen. So actually by not playing the guitar, it will help you improve as well, okay? So they're kind of my pointers, and they are just pointers, they're not like if you do this, you will get this, because everyone's a little bit different. Some students I teach, they like to work out of a book. They like to work from set pieces through a book. That's never been my style, but, you know, if that's what works for you, great. Go with it, okay? Um, for me, I'm kind of like, I'm always, you know, one day I'm into this, the next day I'm into that. But I, I've always got this long-term goal in my mind, where I want to be, what I want to achieve with the guitar, what songs I must, must master, and they never leave me. And one thing I do, and it's quite old fashioned as well, I always print out um, the songs I'm working on and I keep them in a binder. In fact, right here on my shelf, here it is, I've got a binder full of songs. And then, you know, I'm terrible with remembering lyrics, okay? And these are just full of songs. So if I gig, I take this folder, and, you know, I've got all the songs I need to play in there and I've got probably four hours worth of uh, songs in there, okay? And I'll, you know, I'll just put them that, oh, I always carry that, it's in my bag. And, uh, you know, it's kind of songs I work through and I've probably got four or five of those lying around the house, all right? And it's kind of cool because you go through, oh yeah, I forgot about that song, you know? And you kind of play through it. And it's nice to, to see, it's kind of an achievement to see how much you've got. Everyone these days, everything's in the computer, you can't see it. But when you've got binders full of stacks and stacks of songs, it's like, it feels like an achievement. That's just for me, that's me personally anyway. And I certainly, um, you know, I, I don't say it's gonna work for everyone, that just works for me. So set yourself a routine, set yourself a goal more than anything, things that you want to do and keep them realistic. Don't try and, say, look, I'm going to play like Van Halen or Steve Vai or whatever within the next year. Because guys, these, these people have taken years and years out of their lives and years of training and certainly one-to-one -one tuitions and playing in bands to reach that level, okay? Anyone can reach that level, absolutely, but you have to put the work in, but you have to have realistic expectations at the same time. If you're only playing for five minutes a day, then you know, you're not going to reach that level very fast, okay? If you're playing for three hours a day correctly with a tutor by your side so you're not uh, practicing your mistakes and you're not causing yourself any nasty injuries or finger strains or anything like that, then yes, you will pr improve significantly, all right? That's why I always say to people, you cannot beat one-to-one -one tuition. It's great to have all this stuff on YouTube and it's great to learn songs, but actually, if you can get a tutor, do it. Even if you can only afford a tutor once a month, do it. It's, it'll be the best thing you ever do, okay? So I hope that uh, clears a few things up. Set yourself a goal. Set yourself a weekly routine. Make sure you take time off and mix it up. Always try and do different things, all right? And most of all, play and have fun, guys, all right? Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please give me the thumbs up. I do these lessons every week. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you again the same time next week, guys. Enjoy.